ship. Some call me. I can't say that I'm surprised by your answer. A book? Surely you've heard of the rise and fall of St. Jim. Maybe you should leave the writing to an expert. Terrible. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into... So what? All I remember is that damned Remora and it... Well, I assume so. Next thing I knew, I arrived here. But what? Wait. No. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. Perhaps. Maybe I can't leave. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. When I was tossed in here, there were ten of them in all. Find them for me, please. I beg you. Thanks again for searching. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse.
came to us, I thought you looked a little portly in that gown. What was I supposed to know? All I said to Potamo was I thought she looked a little portly in that gown. How was I supposed to know? You managed to destroy all three Keepers? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. The sooner we get out of this place, the better. Give my astonishment. Volumes written on Dernevir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears that we're mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. What did you want? I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know. I'm 
glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this at all. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know what I mean. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamil, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. After what I've put Serana through, I would understand if she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to... I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I... Before this, I roamed the sky... I fear that if I ventured far from the I will place... Do me this simple honor. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Zenithar was I to know the ingredient? You got it. I used to be one of the best. There. 
And what exactly are... Up. Leon, bring me, say, odds. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. It... Sure, here you go. Can't understand a word of it. Maybe it will do you some good.
feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. Soul. The unlife that results when a soul is imprisoned in dead flesh. I'm no fan of the sun. Hello there. Mm hmm. Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. She has something yes. for you. Yes. How may I serve you, my lord? Mm -hmm. Hello there. I hope I have something that interests you. I always wish to be of service. I'm afraid you're beyond my meager abilities. I'm sorry I cannot serve you better. I'm afraid I won't be. Please, do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am a- Oh please, my lord. Please. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative- Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers. It involves carefully removing the bark. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight. In keeping with tradition, every Moth Priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods Good hunting. with the blood of mortals Hello is the key to the promise. You'd be surprised what people leave behind when you burn their village to the ground. Fortune's Follow gone. your instincts. Do you need something? I leave. Leave me in peace. Hello. Good to see a new between you and me. There's too many of them. Want my advice? Avoid getting wrapped up in Vingalmo's schemes. He's after the throne, and he'll kill anyone. Of course, not. he'll cozy up to you. You, you watch yourself around him. What are you doing? That the feast never ends. The shared in Castle Volkaha. Do you need something? Speak with Fiora Bloodmouth. She has something for you. Let me go. I hope we reach Ancestor Blade soon.
<laughs> Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a waste of time, your friend Dexy and I are going to have some words when we get back. Bark as much as Dexin said they would. You look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I could see it in your eyes. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down.
name's Anji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put... Sorry. Like I said, name's Anji, and I... I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was... Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. That I am. You know how to use one? Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, there's one on the rack to the left of the door. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My fa- was rarely home, so it was my mother who actually taught me how to use a bow. She always said composure was the key to a successful archer. It's so bright out here. I don't know how If you can remain it. calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Careful with... Here you go. Now hit the target to the left. Great shot. Now hit the target to the right. Try and hit. Here you go. Shoot that. <laughs> nice shot. Right on target. Let me know if you want to practice some more. <sighs> Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. Listen to me and you might learn something. Until next time. My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Hey, 
Watch it. Time's up. Better luck next time. Huh? Sure. All right, then. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! It. All three targets in eight seconds. Nice job. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Careful with that fire. Here you go. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. Oftentimes, you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like, and you'll have to settle with a long shot. However, with such a long shot, it's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be able to take before your prey runs off. If you find yourself in such a situation, then you need to make your shot count. Don't rush your shot. Crouch down, get comfortable, and take aim. Okay, your turn. Try and hit the target way in the back, far behind the other three. Remember to take your time and make your shot count. Nice shot, right on target. Let me know if you want... Yeah? Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We've talked about composure, speed and precision. Now it's time to use all three at once. I'm warning you now, this challenge will be quite difficult. Just remember everything I've taught you and you should be able to complete it. It may take you a couple of tries, but that's what practice is all about. When I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in 10 seconds. I'll count to three and then say go. You have 10 seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three, up. Better luck next time. Yeah? Sure. Here, take these. Looks like you're running low. What do you need? Got it. I'll count to three and then say go. Finished. You have 10 seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Be careful. Time's up. Better luck next time. Careful! Sure. I. Good! Go now! Count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. 